Now let's hit the conference floor to find out what attendees believe is exciting right now in human genetics. We've got Paul from Wild Cornell. What do you think? You know, I think uh, leveraging all these different exciting technologies, short reads and long reads to unveil new genes for neurodevelopment and other illnesses, I think that brings a lot of excitement here to the conference. And when you talk about that, it's the ability to cure, it's the ability to prevent. Yes. And it starts with just discovery, um, and then of course functional assays, but I think the, the influx of new technologies in genomics will bring you know, a lot of new uh, results. I think what's exciting for me right now is the fact that it is becoming so accessible to everybody. And as you said, where I am within the National Human Genome Research Institute, we're excited about the opportunities to increase the access to genomic data, genomic testing, uh, genomic medicine, anything and everything genomic you can think about is just a wonderful opportunity for us. And I feel like that the society is going to benefit, but also the fact that people are becoming more aware of this, there's the opportunity to have really thoughtful and engaging conversations about this as well, good and bad. I think one of the most exciting areas for me is pharmacogenomics. Uh, since I have like some sort of background in clinical pharmacology, and there's exciting new developments happening in the area of like how drugs could respond differently because of different genetics, especially in the underserved populations like, you know, of different ethnicities and different socioeconomic backgrounds. So that's kind of like a hard area for me. Actually, I'm presenting one of, one of the posters here and uh, it's about how African-Americans respond better to certain tyrosine kinase inhibitors in prostate cancer, for instance. And uh, that's something that we are still working on, but that's, that's kind of an example of uh, how pharmacogenomics help or could potentially help uh, populations that have traditionally been underrepresented in genomic studies. I think that bioinformatic tools, all new tools to analyze a big data uh, of a whole genome sequencing, whole genome sequencing, a new panels, and new discoveries about uh, mutations causing disease. Well, maybe uh, in the part of pharmacogenomics uh, to make a, like personalized medicine to give a specialized treatment to every person that needs it. I think uh, what's really promising in genetics right now is being able to discover the genetic basis of many diseases and take these genetic findings and deliver tailored therapies to treat them. SHGTV is brought to you by the American Society for Human Genetics annual meeting in San Diego. For more videos like this, click on the links and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.